Okay, here's from five minutes ago. It says, I what like are that this is breaking news? Breaking news, everybody. I love it. We're watching this live, so this is a very unhinged, uh, cringe influencers episode. So, <laughs> apologies. Um, what are your all? Okay, what are you all so scared of? Boo. Thank you, officers, sincerely, and thank you to everyone who called in concern. Your prayers are working. Do you? Do you see it? Do you see our vision, the vision? Okay, and here's her. The officers actually, one of the things the officers, actually almost all of the officers asked me over and over and over again is, you know, the reason we're here is we just have to make sure that you don't want to hurt anyone or yourself. And I just laugh and say, no, I don't want to hurt anybody. I literally died for them again. Hello? (laughs) And then they ask me again. And then they send more people. One time I was in the shower, had to come out, was standing out on my porch, fucking dripping wet in my towel. One time I was at Trader Joe's, they asked me if I could come home for them to make sure I was okay. (laughs) They come at 4 a.m. And I keep telling them I'm fine. They say, are you okay? My life is a constant state of vacation. I'm enlightened. Are you okay? Why are you concerned about me? Oh, you're concerned about yourselves because... Jesus was a radical, barefoot, Middle Eastern refugee. What? One of the things the officers... Okay. Act- um, <laughs> the one thing that I'm going to say that I find so bizarre is, like, what she's saying is obviously crazy. You know, not necessarily coherent or logical. But the fact that the zooming is so accurate to like how the social media trends were of that time when she was really big, the zoom in, the zoom out, the co- to the side, to the it's so she she's like memorized the physicalness of the social media that it's even in a psychotic break potentially it's still there imprinted. It's interesting. I think she's not in it anymore. <laughs> I don't know. But look at that. Like, this is very, um, this is very... Actually, almost all of the... Sorry. I don't know. (laughs) I'm just shocked that you're supposed to... (laughs) Like, obviously, I'm shocked for, like, all of the uh, previous ones, too. But, like, now she's like, ha-ha, losers. (laughs) I I got rid of all of them. Like... (laughs) But it continues, what? like it continues. The the sharing continues. Yeah, that's the yeah. thing that's like, wh- like, and also where Nick no one needs came, to go no back. one flew. Her parents aren't like on the first flight to her house and like get off the fucking phone. Where is Maybe everybody? The parents called and she's like, "Don't worry, it's just work." She's like, "Oh, fine." There no friends, actual friends who aren't from the internet coming over this to is- assist. <laughs> How we were talking about last time, remember we were talking about how it's blurred between social media and real life. This is very blurred. Like, I don't know if this Mm -hmm. is Gabby working and making content or if this is Gabby actually, like, going through this. But would she have told everyone, all of her, you know, anyone in her circle, like, hey, I'm going to, like, lie and get some some traction don't come over like someone would have to know her at some level and go, "Okay, I don't know what's going on. Let me go help nothing from no one maybe maybe they texted her and she was like don't worry it's just work bring some cookies or something and like stage an intervention i think was it that she had some issues with her sister i think i don't remember exactly but her sister um, was commenting apparently on stuff I'll, i'll bring up that article at some point let me find it she was commenting to people and saying like we're handling it but like where are they yeah, I don't know where they are. How are they handling it? Like, wh- wh- are they handling it? It no. does not look ha- handled. <laughs> not, not, she's posting as we speak. No, <laughs> I don't think it's handled. Um, this one's from four minutes ago, probably now six minutes ago. Here we go. What if I were wrong? All humans make mistakes. Even if you have faith, what if I were wrong? What would be the worst thing? <laughs> What would be the worst thing? What would be the worst thing if it was me? The brave, humble, kind, sleuth. What would be so bad? Look at my power, our power. 
I just want to share our power. What'd you think I was going to do, nuke? You know what I mean? What, like, what? What do you guys think I'm going to do? Nuke the earth? <laughs> I'm not the fucking president of the United States. What if I were wrong? I mean, fair. <laughs> Uh, um, so, what? <laughs> what, was, what was that? I what did I just hear? <laughs> I mean, I guess I get what she's saying. I mean, saying, you like, could, cares. like, you could kill people. There's plenty of things that, you know, could happen. Yeah. It's not like TikTok is the only power that one, one person has. <laughs> um, um, <sighs> but I, this is, um, this is so bizarre. <laughs> that was so bizarre. Yeah, here's the sister's response, allegedly. Stand by. Uh, okay. Yeah. Cecilia, that's the sister, apparently. Um, says, someone named Taylor, quite literally just went to check for an update and saw this was posted. For those worried about Gabby Hanna, here's what her sister said. I hope people can leave Cecilia out of this. She's completely right. And then it says, this video was filmed and posted a full day before anything was happening, or at least before we were aware. We are all in Pennsylvania, and she is in L.A. We are doing what... Wait, there's flights available, <laughs> I'm sure, from that location to that location. We are doing what we can... We are doing what can be done from here. At the end of the day, you are all strangers, true, on the internet, and it is none of your business regardless, true. Uh, of your level of concern. Obviously, we are aware and doing what we can. She is an adult. I'm a 20-year-old on the other side of the country. <sighs> okay, but the, the thing with you're all strangers and it's none of your business, it does not apply because she made yeah. it everyone's business by doing this publicly. It's it's like it's impossible to like ask people watching this not to care. Speculate like, <laughs> or wonder. Oh, okay, we got more. We got more. Okay. Wow. Goodness. God bless you officers and thank you for your service. Can, can I please tell you guys that when I was like, why am I in cuffs? They were like, so you posted like a hundred TikToks. And I was like, okay. And they were like, people are calling us. And I was like, so I'm arrested? God bless you officers. And yeah, I, I wonder what, I, I think there's more to that story. Like they don't just cuff you for no reason. Like there must've been some sort of like, I'm a, well, that's not true. I shouldn't say that because I'm sure that happens. <laughs> A lot, but you know, I'm, sh I'm I'm wondering, I'm speculating if there was more to that story of why she was cuffed before they. Yeah, why would they arrest her for posting TikTok? They like wouldn't. That's, they would not. Yeah. So that's not unless she started, like you know, she was behaving in a way when they were there or something. That's what I'm thinking, but you know, maybe she didn't get cuffed. Maybe she's just saying that. I mean, there's no proof of that either. Okay, here's. <coughs> The officers allowed me to do some stretches while while I was in cuffs. I want to teach you them. They're for posture. So you put your hands behind your back and first. And then. She's done this before. I saw it in a screenshot. They said, don't fall. I said, don't worry. I won't. God, <laughs> imagine it was like how hilarious this must be for the police. <laughs> She's like, "What is going on?" <laughs> Lord, um, uh, I'm sure they deal with way worse. Like in LA, they got you know a huge population of people who are living on the streets who are you know not mentally stable. So I'm sure they're like, "Okay, just another day, another day, another yeah. dollar." <laughs> this is them. funny because like I'm drawing so many comparisons was last time we spoke about the meal prep king yeah. just having you know a crisis on his social media on live mm -hmm. um and it's he had just gonna <laughs> thank it's you for adding that <laughs> you're, you're all scruffy cons um so he had been in a relationship and he got out of it and similarly gabby was in a re in a relationship until um, i don't i want to say two years ago a year and a half ago mm. and since that relationship ended she's been just spiraling mm. it's got 
pretty much worse and worse until today. <laughs> so um, I think it's, it's continuing funny. on the downward spiral. Yeah. Today as well. Um, yeah. That, well, sometimes it's like, you know, it only takes one person really to, to help somebody depending on the situation. Like now that person can't rely on you long term, but sometimes, you know, if it's the difference between going off the deep end or being, you know, level headed, it could just be a relationship or something. And once that's gone, that could be the catalyst for change. Yeah, no, of course, like a long term relationship ending is like a huge life event. Mm -hmm. And um, you definitely change, I think, as a person after that. you have to, you know, you, you can't <laughs> otherwise. Mm -hmm. But um, it's funny, because I think both in uh, the meal prep king's case and Gabby's case, it seemed like their partners were keeping them almost like grounded in reality yeah. and now the partner is gone so they're just like off into the ether like doing mm -hmm. all sorts of saying all of the things yeah that are the most bizarre weird and it's like <laughs> it shows you just how how valuable it is it's not necessarily to have a, a relationship but like to have people in your life who keep you grounded and mm -hmm. who keep you like connected to the real world because like social media is not real no. in the sense I, I mean it's real it exists but it's not real in the sense that you don't have like physical presence you're not there with people mm -hmm. there's there's a huge difference and, and with social media i will never like be able to rival like human interaction face to face mm -hmm. and i think that's where it where the grounding comes in because it pulls you back to earth yeah. versus just being this character on the internet yeah and i think it's probably when people prove that you know like if you get a million like we talked about with the with the scruffy con guy you know the meal prep king like he has four hundred thousand followers and no one was at his house either when he was having this breakdown no one was saying hey get off the phone what are you doing you know come on man this you got more to to like you have a big career ahead of you like that voice of reason if that's gone especially when you have all of these followers you're like why don't i feel better it's almost more confusing like you know we're watching this live there's a lot of people who care but no one who's there Damn. yeah <laughs> a lot of yeah literally care, but no she's there. alone yeah it's she's isolated yeah almost. and, that's and she had thing. the opportunity to get help if she was on the psych ward Mm -hmm. And she, she didn't. But you don't, when you're manic, you don't feel, you feel like everyone else is the problem. You don't think you're the problem. You think everyone else is like, you know, blinded. And it's like, like they say, again, I'll bring in the spirituality stuff. It's like, everyone is the lambs, everyone, but the spirit, everyone that's not in the cult is delusional. Everyone who's not in the cult is crazy. And now I think it's almost like a cult of one, like, you know, or a cult where it's just all parasocial followers where, you know, she might think that she is like the reincarnated Jesus or whatever. So she thinks everyone else that's not on board with that is like insane. Yeah. But that's just her mindset right now, possibly. Yeah, possibly. Uh, it's very, very strange either way. Like, yes. Agreed. This one says, oh, yes. Oh, let me see. <laughs> I can't read it. A woman of color. Oh, yeah. This is another part of this. She says she's a woman of color. I, what, I've <laughs> never heard of this. Okay. So she said that in a video that I watched in which she said a lot of things about people of color that I was like, just stop. And she kept on saying that she's Middle Eastern. This is the first I ever heard of this. Is she actually? If anyone in the comments knows, she's from Lebanon. Us, but her, I mean, she's born in America, but like, I guess she's like her her nationality is Lebanese. Or she has Lebanese in her family. That's what I heard. Oh right, okay. I did not know this. This is the first I ever heard of this, and I've been watching her for like years. <laughs> yeah, I never, I didn't hear about that. Okay, we're gonna play it. it. Says, "Oh yes, the the woman of color put her phone on airplane mode. I can't hear ya, world." That's it, everybody, so far. Let's see. 
I'll refresh <laughs> it just in case. Yeah, that's the last one. And they're getting views. I mean, the, the, the last four or five she's made have been in the last 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and they already have thousands and thousands of views. So. Um, yeah. So how is she Jesus now? Like before she was giving birth to the next Jesus, and now she is act- the actual Jesus. Well, we're all, we're all one. So if you are the mother of Jesus, you are also Jesus. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> 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 Clearly, I'm not very aware of how the whole Jesus <sighs> and birthing the next one goes about. But it could be me, as Gabby said, I could give birth to the next generation of Jesuses. That seems to be a common thread of people who are on this path, I'll say, like the reincarnation thing. And it's almost like a, a very extreme example of like, why not me? Like, why not me? <laughs> like, why not me? I could be successful. Why not me? I could, you know, launch the business or whatever. <laughs> but it's like to the most extreme level, like, why not me be the second coming of Christ? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, true. Who's to like, say? If, if, you, if you believe that that's how, you know, Jesus came about, then yeah, why not you? <laughs> yeah. But what, what's to say that there's a second Jesus? <laughs> I just don't understand where this idea come from. Jews. I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I guess that would be the first coming because they don't think Jesus came, was the Messiah. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Are we, are we getting, is that is that in the religion? Like we're getting a second rapture, I don't know. whatever that's called? I don't, I'm not religiously um, smart, obviously. All I know is G- the Judaism believes that Jesus was not the Messiah and I, and like it's he's he or the entity is still coming so they're still waiting on that person. So it could be like Gabby Hanna could presumably be the Messiah and they have certain things that, you know, that person will do that will lead them to like oh that is the the savior. I don't want to be saved if she's the messiah. <laughs> if she's the messiah, I'm fine not being saved. Thank you very much. Apparently, she's posting more. Let's watch. Okay. Uh oh. All right. Here we go. Maybe this will answer your question. Oh, wait. Didn't I see this already? Didn't I see this exact post already about the <laughs> Baptist of Jesus? Am I like? Am I the second coming? I've seen the future already. <laughs> like, wow. Okay. I swear to God, I saw Maybe this exact you are. post. Gabby's here, like, claiming she's Jesus, but maybe it's Kayla the me. whole time. Why not me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this is... <clears throat> let me read it on my phone. This is um, what happens, too. It's, like, reading your name, like, Gabrielle. Gabrielle Bernstein, Angel of Gabriel. Why would I be named that if I wasn't, you know, really important? Um, okay, Gabrielle... Descendant... descendant. Yeah, descendant of Archangel St. Gabriel, deliverer of good news to the world. Jeanette, God is gracious. Hannah, son of St. John, the Baptist of Jesus Christ, our Savior and second father who stepped in for Joseph. Okay. Okay. Gabrielle. Jeanette. Oh, that's her name, I guess. Hannah. My birthright, my family tree. Written in the stars, universes before we. Gabrielle. Okay, so she's explaining why her name is like, you know, what it means. And then it says, one, a person, plant, or animal that is descended from a particular ancestor, Shakespeare's last direct descendant. Okay, two, a machine, artifact, system, etc., that has developed from an earlier, more rudimentary version. House music is a descendant of disco. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Overwhel- I think we're trying to, like, logic reason, like, these things as if they're meaningful and they're just kind of things that she's coming up with as she goes. 